When my three kids were in high school, their friends could often be found at our house, gathered around our kitchen table in as much as everyone knew their mother would always be serving lots of good things to eat. When I would join the group, I would often say something like this. <clears throat> I think I feel a speech coming on. And would say something like this. Uh, money is important, but it can never be the point. Or we would all worry a lot less about what others think if we realized how seldom they do to which my kids would roll their eyes and their friends would all perk up, presumably because I was not their dad. This playful pontificating continues to this day, although my audience today is more likely to be one or more of my 10 grandchildren. <clears throat> Speeches like, Life is a participatory sport. Stay curious. Learn something new. Make a plan. Get a good idea. Just start. Don't wait until you've got things all figured out. Life is not a spectator sport. What remains to be seen is whether my speeches will be viewed in the future as cliche or proverbs. In my Luthery practice, I found it did not take long for me to realize the limits of my inlay work, limits of my time, patience, and skill set working with conventional inlay materials and techniques. Larry Robinson, I am not. I needed to find and start learning a new, less tedious way to render finely detailed graphics on wood surfaces. Not unlike the old intaglio printmaking and ink drawing I used to do in art school. After a little curious research, voila, pyrography seemed like a good idea. The term Photography means writing with fire from the Greek word per and graphos, writing. It can be practiced using specialized modern pyrography tools or using a metal implement heated in fire or even sunlight concentrated with a magnifying glass. Pyrography dates from the 17th century and reached its highest standard in the 19th century. With a good idea in hand, I started. I burned, colored, and coded one test piece. Then I began to learn something new about pyrography on the fly for real. With my first wood burned and water colored bee on bones headstock logo complete. I'm happy to report that I'm excited by the technique, encouraged by the possibilities, and I clearly learned something new. I will do a few things differently next time. In the meantime, with one SE Touring Series logo down and two to go, here is my current revised pyrography headstock logo order of things list. Number one, glue up rough cut headstock and overlay. Two, sand flat to 800 grit. Three, lay out headstock final shape tuner hole centers and logo graphic design. Four, Graphite paper or soft pencil lead transfer of headstock graphic image onto the overlay. Five, burn a relatively deep and precise outline of image into the overlay. Six, burn finer texture lines and shading into the image. Seven, add color pencil and or watercolor as desire. Eight, 
seal coat graphic and color with CA glue. Nine, infill graphic and color with clear UV epoxy. <clears throat> 10, scrape and sand back to flat and 800 grit. 11, add any final color or pyrography shading as desired. And 12, final coat and buff with Odie soil. Okay, there you go. One coat of Odie's oil. Uh, the only thing my spray gun is good for is uh, collecting dust, as you can see. I have abandoned my uh, spray station, air station. And the only thing I use my 1640 CFM explosion proof fan is for uh, dust. Dust.